This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? App-based car service Uber can't help being in the news. First, there are battles with taxi commissions worldwide about the lack of regulation of Uber. Then there was controversy over impolitic comments by its CEO about tracking journalists who criticized the company. And recently, an Uber driver was accused of rape. Now comes further controversy over Uber's surge pricing, a supply and demand algorithm that automatically adjusts the company's pricing upwards and downwards in real time based on the number of requests for service. Turns out Uber's pricing jumped fourfold during the hostage taking in Sydney, Australia as people called for cars to help them flee the scene. What were they thinking at Uber when they came up with the algorithm? Clearly they saw it as a good business model not unlike airline peak fares, except automated in the hands of each potential buyer. And Uber did build a cautionary failsafe into their app. Whenever surge pricing exceeds twice the base rate, the customer is required to type in acceptance of a higher fee before ordering the car. But you can only do so much with an algorithm. You can't anticipate every situation. What Uber did after the Sydney PR nightmare is now being second-guessed by some of the service's wildly loyal supporters. The car service apologized for the surge pricing in that instance of terror and has offered refunds and rebates to affected customers. Some now say they shouldn't have done so. An innovative service that didn't even exist a short while ago, they claim, is an option for people to use or not use and should be considered on its own merits when compared to other available transport. At Comcore, we tell our crisis clients that you need three deposits in the bank of goodwill for every withdrawal you have to make. Clearly, Uber has a lot to think about in its messaging and how it communicates going forward. As always, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Nick Peters for Comcore.